Hello, Eco Explorers. This week, we're celebrating Proud of My Family in honor of Pride Month. And so I thought I would talk about a family that I have growing in the garden. And then I'd show you how you can start growing this family at home. But first, I'm going to give you a little more information about what I'm talking about. This family is called the Three Sisters. The three sisters that I'm talking about are corn, beans, and squash. They are called sisters because thousands of years ago, Native Americans discovered that when corn, beans, and squash are planted together, they all help each other grow, like sisters in a family. This practice started with indigenous people in Mesoamerica and became practice in North America by the Haudenosaunee, or Iroquois people. Because the corn, beans, and squash are planted together, this type of planting is known as companion planting. So how does each sister help? The beans help by putting nitrogen in the soil, which helps plants grow. The squash helps because it has lots of big leaves. These leaves shade the soil and keep weeds from growing and taking water from the plants. The corn helps by growing big and tall, which allows the bean vines to climb up the corn as they grow. So the beans help the soil for the plants, the squash help keep weeds away, and the corn helps the beans climb tall. Now I'm going to show you how you can start your own companion garden just like the Haudenosaunee people did. So for this, you're gonna need some corn seeds. You're gonna need a small shovel for a trowel. And you're gonna need something to water your plants with. Now, if you don't happen to have an open space of dirt where you can plant, just tune in next week and I'll show you how you can plant seeds in containers. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do to start your three sisters garden is you are going to make a little mound that kind of looks like a volcano. Now, to do this, you just start digging your dirt and making a little pile with it. Hopefully you have a little space around your pile too because some of the seeds for the three sisters are going to go in the mound but in future videos we are going to plant around the mound as well. So I have my mound and now I'm going to turn it into a volcano. So if you can see I'm just hollowing out this little middle area a little bit so it kind of looks like a volcano. And I'm actually gonna zoom in so that you can see the volcano a little bit better. All right, so now that you have your volcano, you can add your seeds. So we're gonna put four seeds into this mound. And we wanna make sure they are far enough apart from each other so that when they grow, they're not crowding each other out. So if you can see, I put my seeds about six inches apart. And for you, that's probably gonna be the length of your hand. And I kind of put them in a cross pattern. If you can see, they make an X. Now, since I have my seeds all lined up, I am gonna give each seed a buddy. Because not every seed will grow, unfortunately. Now that each seed has a buddy, I can begin tucking in my seed. We want to do this very gently. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger and you are going to poke, gently poke your seeds into the ground and then you're going to gently tuck the dirt over. Now, I only 
only poke my seeds about as far as the first knuckle on my finger. And for you, that should probably work as well. If your hands are a little smaller, you could also go to the first knuckle on your thumb. So, I'm going to tuck in the other seeds. thing you're going to want to do is give your seeds a drink. All right, to give your corn seeds the best start out in life, you are going to give them a quick drink of water. So take your watering can or your cup or whatever you have and just go around your seeds like this. Now remember, for the seeds to start growing, you're gonna need to water them every day until you see little green sprouts, and then you can start watering them every other day. Because seeds need a lot of love when they're just starting out. And that's it for how you plant the first of the three sisters, Sister Corn. We will be talking about how you can plant Sister Bean and Sister Squash in future videos, but first, we have to make sure our corn grows tall enough. And to make sure it grows, we've got to water it every day. Tune in next week for, for when we'll talk about how we can plant seeds in containers. And of course, in videos after that, we'll be talking more about how you can continue planting your three sisters' garden. Bye! Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our summer broadcasts are every Wednesday and Friday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org and sign up today.